I love my girlfriend. Previously on Hard Knocks. I shaved this. My girlfriend shaved it for me. I love her. It's like, changed my whole life. Gets it to Bernard. Touchdown. Giovanni Bernard. Oh, my God. You're driving your girlfriend's mom's car. Fully loaded. It got a little, you know, the gear shifted right here. <laughs> He's always had a chip on his shoulder, and you can tell that it's not going anywhere. As he turns his back to me. No, somebody's behind oh, okay. I see it now. Get another quarterback in, please. Oh, fuck. Take advantage of these reps, boys. You don't get many of them. Right now, I'd say Josh is slightly in front. John needs to be smart to win the job. No. Whoa, 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 whoa. Boy, get it, horses. This son of a bitch foot right here. Listen, this foot right here don't ever come from here. It stays here. Come on, horse. Come on. man fears to do that which he knows he does well. In other words, you know what the hell to do, you should have no anxiety in getting it done. You should be relaxed and be able to do it and get it done. With everything chaotic around you, you ought to be able to focus and get it done if you know what to do inside now. Assembling an NFL team is more art than science, and training camp is the studio. The place not only for broad strokes like who will make the team, but the fine details of how they'll work together. Creating an NFL team is an art, and art does not come easy. Why do you have such an aversion with a hat knocks cameras? Uh, these guys right here? Yeah. I was, yeah. Two minutes, 40 seconds. That's how long we've been talking? Yeah, the second time around, yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. Why do I have such an aversion to the Hard Knocks cameras? Yeah. Um, I don't feel they deserve to be here. They did nothing to be here other than want to be here. They have no, they didn't put no blood, sweat, and tears into none of this. All these men are here, they done did that. They did nothing. No one deserves to see this, to come inside of this, unless you're part of this. That's why. If you've got a camera in your hand, it's hard to gain access into James Harrison's world. But once you're in, you get it. He's a man willing to suffer anything for his craft. James Ferrier got me started on it. Played with him with the Steelers. Actually, he started doing it before all of us over there. And uh, my first time I ever did it was 2007, Baltimore Ravens game. And uh, it worked, so I've been doing it ever since. We do this twice a week, minimum, sometimes more. And um, in the off season, sometimes we, we do it more than that. He's training hard in the off season too. When we first started, he asked me who got the most needles ever, and I told him that it was Curtis Martin had gotten 232 needles, and he said, I want that. So I did that, and then the next time he came back, he said, I want more than that. And I said, how much? And he says, 300. I said, I don't, I just think it's too much. And he said, I want 300. So I did it. And then I had teammates of his come back to me and say, I want his treatment. I want the 300. And after I did it, they told me that they never wanted me to do it again. <laughs> and he's bending my needles because he's so dense. Definitely one of a kind. So we got nine guys in here undrafted, right? See that guy right there? 
he bounced he bounced around. Yeah, I'm talking to you. <laughs> he bounced around for a long time. And, and when you you guys are undrafted, whether you're drafted or not, talk to him about his experiences. I came in here this morning. Some bitch is in the weight room. What time did you get in there today, James? Six fifteen. Six fifteen. All right. Understand this thing's a constant grind for you guys. I don't care if you're drafted first, fourth, not drafted. The best guy is going to stay. One hug. Undrafted rookie Jason Demanche is one of 12 linebackers in camp. Look at him. Good, Jay. Need a boy. I'll take it. There's room for maybe six. Good, man. Let's go. Let's go. Shit. Listen, man. You can cover him. You can cover anybody, yeah. all right? That's the way to keep your feet active. We got a tiger. What is uh, 54's first name? Southern Omar. Southern Omar. Oh, Jason. Jason? Oh, that wasn't hard. Yeah. What's his last name? Demench? Demanche. Demanche. Jason's easy. I can yeah. get that. <laughs> Say Jason. <laughs> yeah, that, that part's easy. First time I've gotten a uh, pronunciation lesson. Yeah. So Fr it's French. It's Sunday in French. Sunday in French? Yep. Sunday. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to call you Sunday. Don't call me yeah. Sunday. Sunday will be game day for Demanche if he keeps playing like he did in his first preseason game. Blitz coming. Demanche missed a wide open sack. Demance was a little bit nervous to start the game. I think, you know, going from Southern Illinois to Atlanta Falcons was a huge jump for him, and he was a little bit nervous. But uh, the kid's got a world of talent that hadn't really showed up much in practice because he's been thinking so much. Now, here's the deal, man. You see the blitz you made over there at Sam Baker? Yeah. I got to get you to play switch and everything just like that. Because mm -hmm. when you know what the fuck to do, it looks fucking unbelievable. You know what I mean? I got you. Let's go. Yes, sir. I tend to overthink a little bit because I try to think about everything I do on the field. You know, I try to calculate my moves so I can anticipate things and react while I'm on the field. Question. Yes. Um, what about with the real patient tackles that like to sit there? Dan, okay, if he's being soft, you be hard. Okay. Okay? Yes, sir. You see what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So if he's soft, take you're it. hard. Take you're hard. Okay. Right? And always remember this. One arm's longer than two. Go yes, put your hands up. Put both hands up. <laughs> One arm's longer than two. Right? Yes, sir. Right? Yeah. You do it to me. Right? One arm's longer than two. You see what I'm saying? Okay. When I, when I watch you in college and you made these flash plays, jumping over fuckers and running all up, I, I got to get you to that point where you're not thinking, like, fuck, what am I doing? Yeah, I understand. I understand. Because there's a lot of guys in this room right now that are pretty even. I know you have the ability to do it. I just don't want you thinking so damn much. Sometimes letting it flow is best. Fellow linebacker Aaron Mabin understands the need to let the left brain work. The reason I do certain things in my pieces is just because it feels right. I think that's the most important thing in being creative. You have to feel it. You should definitely want to encourage people to have an opinion on the work, but you'll never be able to create something that pleases everybody. After four seasons, Maven knows all about critics. The Bills picked him number 11 overall, but he never developed into the dominant defensive end they expected. They waived him. So did the New York Jets. Now he's trying to reinvent himself in Cincinnati as a linebacker. I remember my first practice like it was yesterday. I was, um, I was 20 when I came in, when I came in the league. I was young, young as shit. You live early? Huh? You live early? Hell yeah, I was 20. <laughs> yeah. So then being my fifth year, I understand a lot more about the position that I'm in. It's a constant struggle. It's a constant uh, grind. It's a constant, uh, it's a constant fight that you're fighting. Aaron, he's making a transition to a new position, linebacker, where everything's new to him, the spacing of how he drops in the coverage. The quicker he can learn, because it is new, he can prove his worth. For you, don't, hey, all you need to do, don't, don't, don't do this. Don't, don't overextend. Just come back here. Bang! Right there. Okay. It's, all, it's all from here up. All right. All right? Because yes, you get your legs involved, you're going to get out of whack. Everybody in the linebacking court, you know, we're in a dogfight right now. We understand that, uh, that, you know, this is a very talented team, so there's only going to be a certain amount of guys that make the squad. I guess, obviously, with us being in the grind of the dog days of camp and 
color palette I brought to the studio today. I guess it just was kind of fitting that this is how things are starting to turn out. As with any of my pieces, I don't think I'm ever really going to be finished with them. Uh, it's getting a little bit late, though, so I think we'll call this one a done deal for the day. I could do this all night. On Monday, we have a normal schedule, uh, 7.45, 8.30, 10.30, uh, walk through, and then we'll practice in the afternoon. We'll have the rookie show at 6 o'clock. Better be good, rookies, now. These guys are mean, man. All right, they play mean, so it better be good. It's going to be a good show. It'll be a good show. Any jokes about me is going to be problem after this. I'm telling you now. It's going to be good. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to be nice. We're going to be cool. I ain't doing nothing. I'm not doing nothing today. Yeah, right. I'm looking in my eyes and telling I'm the director. Oh, so you came I'm the, up I'm with the it. With so you the one who came nah, up with the Y'all doing different stuff. Huh? We all doing different stuff. You sure? Yeah, yeah you good. Hey, hey big dog. Big dog. We ain't going to have no problem with you, cuz. Nah, what you mean? We ain't going to have no problem with you, cuz. We're going to be good. You don't want these problems. Nah, we ain't got no problems because, you know, it's no no We don't want no problems. This is about to be legendary. Hey, nobody going to get cut after this Ricky show. Y'all here? This is the 2013 Rookie Show. Y'all ready? Stay in your seat. It's gonna be live up in here tonight. You know the Cincinnati Bengals are real loaded at the receiving core. You know, such as Andrew Hawkins, all pro receiver AJ Green, who think he, you know, missed the big shot. Around here, a lot of players are more valuable than others. <laughs> hey, Hawk, let's get it, baby. Uh. Ah. Damn, man. Uh, Riverside, Riverside. Riverside, Riverside, Riverside. Riverside. Help. Help. Oh. 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 Ah. I broke my leg. We got a bunch of liquor lights that we want to show y'all. And the first pick, Team Shark Tail selects. So, uh, punk lock. Here we go, man return. What we want to get established is that call end, left end, pair up. Call end is going to take the R5, and the left end is going to take the L5, and that will create this <laughs> nice, <laughs> nice gap there. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Team Will Smith selects. <laughs> Team Butterbean selects. Everybody know we got a couple cool guys on the team, a couple funny guys on the team. But I never thought I'd see something like this. Just stay in tune. Ice water in your veins isn't a prerequisite for starting. Not as young as I used to be. I'm playing, I'm young as hell. But starters do have a certain cool. And right now, second year strong safety Georgia Loca is running with the first team. Good job, do it! I see you both three! Uh, That's it, George. Hey, get, get, get a turn, that a baby. That a boy, George, that a boy, George. <laughs> Here you go, George! Good shot, George. Good hey, good cover, George. Turns out, though, Iloka is a little hot <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, my. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I'm going to get somebody hurt doing that bullshit. Is that the fucked up one? Is that the wrist? Yeah, I think I broke my hand. Nah, you good, man. I'll say that. You think you? Nah, you be all right. You're too tough for that shit. It wouldn't, never, it wouldn't go down like that. Don't worry about it. You be all right. You know what I mean? 
Don't think like that. All the muscles, you can't, can't go down because of that. What happened yesterday? Did, did, uh, did George take a swing at you or some shit? Yeah. What, I, what, what was that? I was locking him up on punt return. He got mad. So hey. it's him. So he got mad? Yeah, yeah. he just punched me. Yeah, punched the helmet like a fucking <laughs> like an idiot. I heard it crunching against my shit. <sighs> and it's like, and you can see it on film, I'm like, why would you do that? And what lesson learned? Wait, wait, wait. I learned. What was the lesson learned? Two things. Okay. Okay. Two things. Okay. 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 There's number one. Mm. If you want to fight, you take the helmet off. <laughs> okay. All right, I get two. Uh, but one was the first lesson. What did the doctor tell you? I broke the third one. Third metatarsal? Yeah, at the base. I just learned uh, about the guys. I got my emotions. Get the best of me, and I played it on myself and the team. People depended on me in a bad situation, so I felt like I had time to calm down. I knew I messed up as soon as I did it, but I was still mad. And I couldn't, you know, admit it. But looking back, that was. Well, you grabbed his face mask, right? You you're holding him off like this. It's holding me as well. I know, but you're grabbing his face mask, mm -hmm. right? Right. I mean, he's working, trying to, you know, show that he deserves to stay around here. I respect that. You know, and uh, so, but you know, he just can't. You swing the first time, and then he swings back, whatever he does, and then you swing back to your right arm and hit him. I mean, and, you know, he just said that makes sense to, to do that. He can't do it on the field, so, I mean, you know, it makes no sense to do it. All right. Thank you for hearing me out. Thank you. With Iloka sidelined, the competition at strong safety is wide open. It's a job fourth-year man Taylor Mays would like to have. You know, everything I do is in even numbers, so I got to drink the water and twice, twice another and then do another twice, yeah, four. Like, if I drink it five times, it will probably bother me. Keeping an even keel hasn't been easy for the former All-American from USC. Uh -huh. Right back, straight back, ask the vertical, ask the vertical. Good, 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 that's it. He's had plenty of good days. Which is a miracle. But too many bad ones. Uh, uh, Taylor, get up higher, get up higher. Come on. Oh. Oh. Uh, oh. Get up. Oh, fuck me. Taylor, you, you can't be biting up here. This ball's off the line of scrimmage. We don't need you involved in this. When that ball is snapped, I got to go. This should be an easy play. He wants to be good. He uh, he just needs to relax a little bit more and let it loose. He's, he's a little bit robotic at times on the field. I think he's a little bit afraid to make mistakes. What is it that you had to work on, and, and what do you think will get you out there? I think it's just consistency and then understanding like, a role within the defense. Wow. Been kind of up and down, I guess, the last couple of years, but um, I still have confidence as a player, and um, that's kind of been what drives me every day. And I know if I go out there and do what I need to do every day, then I'll be all right. Uh, you bring in your bill tomorrow? Because <laughs> you love her just as much as I love my wife? <laughs> in high school in Seattle so we grew up together I've known each other for a long time oh. look that's what I was talking about it's I don't called know the bridge right yeah oh like that try it no I can't even do the first do one. one time but do it straight see like straight huh do it straight so yeah, like but I don't I'm bending them Taylor's definitely not shy it's kind of a part of him <laughs> it's just me right oh my gosh he has the biggest backpack collection ever he has them hidden. Little lemon backpack <laughs> collection, actually. The Ninja Turtle one's sweet. I got it at a uh, Hot Topic. So, like, you just tie this around your face, you know? And then put the hood there's on. There's red, there's orange. <laughs> tie me up. Sometimes when you get bored, you just need to find new ways to <laughs> freshen things up. So I could be Donatello. I got all the colors. I could be Raphael, Michelangelo. You know? You like that? Cowabunga? Yeah, it's good. Yeah. This looks small for some reason. Chloe, my girlfriend, uh, I met her in college. It was definitely a coincidence that, you know, I did get drafted by the Bengals and uh, that she is, you know, not far from here. She's from Kentucky. <laughs> when you're first getting here, you're kind of getting adjusted. It kind of took a little bit off my plate. I'm excited to see the place again. You can just finally what, call it home. So see what hotel. new additions you've done to it. I haven't done anything. I'm done. I gave up. Well, we got furniture. 
think that works, right? You need to buy a stand. You know what you could do? We need to no, buy just... shelves for the wall. Nope. Like just like that. Okay. Old school. That works too. It's all good. One yard touchdown. No big deal. <laughs> Gotta get better. But we'll see. We need to get a table for outside. No, we don't. <laughs> Giovanni Bernard was drafted to score touchdowns. <laughs> But the rookie running back won't be on the field. He doesn't first learn to block. That's a run by. He can't follow through because Gio's getting put in his lap. You know, that'll be Gio's issue. Can he get stopped enough to block? I'm going to leave you in protection all day today. No routes for you. I'm going to let you block, Burf I'm gonna let you block Harrison all day today. Get up. Better, better, better. Okay, two five. Much better, much better. Gio, you can never give away the inside. That's a great job stepping up in there, Giovanni being a believable blocker. Excellent. Woo. I got you, Cookie. Uh. Get out of here, Wallace. And you he helped him up. All right, as a teammate. In a game, boy, that's, that's a fine, okay? About our little rookie running halfback choices, Giovanni in his little minivan. How sweet is that? <laughs> You don't want the car? Yeah. <laughs> it's fine. There you go. That's right. That's how we got to right. do it. Thank <laughs> For the time being, Bernard will make do with a minivan. Maybe when he hits the big time, he'll raid a chauffeur. <laughs> All right, see you later, Mr. Bro. Benny, did you remember how to get here today, or do you need to get a ride? Whit, did you ever get a ride in practice? Rob G, you ever get a ride? Never got a ride. MJ, the owner ever give you a ride to practice? No. Okay, I'm just making sure. All right, I want to show you a little thing, you know, talking about guys being great teammates and just role models, people to look up to. Tomorrow's our last padded practice. Tomorrow's our last full padded practice of the 2013 season, unless you piss me off. Okay? All right? So let's go about it, you know, just like it's been for the last years. We don't practice in full pads during the season. We'll practice in shoulder pads, and we'll stay on our feet, and we'll get our blocks made, and we'll do the things we do. All right? But let's, so let's just keep going. But we need to get to work. But I don't have any doubt we will play physical come Sunday. And let's keep playing with that energy. All right? When she get a little, they just wanna take you down, cuz. Uh, well, I got the money in the pile. Yeah, when she get a little, they just wanna take you down, cuz. We've been going hard for so long. Can't get enough for the show. Yeah, really ain't nothing I can drop that. Drop that. Wake up in the morning, make it all bad. This right today. Already sweating like we halfway through fucking practice. I'm grabbing it. Never get water from anybody else but the water guy. All right. You're using your legs now. You can use your legs the whole preseason. Oh, dang, huh? <laughs> Guess what? You got some legs. You feel that, huh? Where you feel it? All right. Oh, oh! <laughs> Guess what? You got legs up under there. Come on, man. Let's use your legs. I'm going to work on that. All right? I'm going to get you It seems Orson Charles may finally be getting his legs under him as he makes the transition from tight end to fullback. We'll get it. We'll get it. You're used to working with people close. Your biggest difference here from transition is working in space. We got the guy that's five yards from you, now you gotta go hit him. Orson, when he comes at me, he kinda holds a lot, so I try to give him a key like, man, don't hold me, I'm telling you, next time you hold me, I'm gonna come full speed at you. You see how I feel the hole? You see how I feel the hole? You see how I feel? You see how I feel the hole? I want a base, I want shoulder width, I want hands in here, and I want you to drive it. Okay? Drive it, drive it, drive it, drive it. Here we go. Go! Come on, come on. 
on, come on. That's it, that's it. Oh, good. good. That's it. That's it. You have to learn how to finish. I can scream and yell all I want, but that's got to become something in you. The other thing about playing low, what I can help you do, you ever done duck walk before? You scooch, you get yourself down as a, like a duck. Sit down. Put your, put your books down for a second. I want you to squat down. Squat all the way down. Okay, lower than that. Okay, and just walk to me. <laughs> That's duck walk. Turn and walk to that door just like that. Orson, now imagine yourself blocking somebody in that mode, running as fast as you can, and coming up through them. You want to knock shit out? Look at Michael Johnson. He looks like the biggest duck I've ever seen. Look at him. He's carrying them big bags of money. My back is sore, carrying a big bag of money. Mike Zimmer has earned the right to joke. Not only has he built one of the league's best defenses, he's built relationships with his players that reach far beyond the field. He's kind of like the, uh, the father kind of with those guys that's going to always be uh, generally tough love with them. I'm going to stay on your ass about this now. We got to get better, and I'm running out of time. And most of you know I don't have much patience anyway. Are you going to cover somebody today? That's two balls you got caught on you now. The real coaches in this league understand how to lead men, and he does. And he understands how to get it out of them. You don't get it out of players in the National Football League with the sweetheart approach. You know, you can't speak from soprano and expect bass. Hey, goofball, yo, why are you running up? Look at the tight end. If he releases, cover him. You don't need to go up. Coach Zim is my father. Uh, I never had, you know, he don't take no shit from nobody. I think it helped me out in a lot of my career because I haven't been around a guy like that since college. I love it, man. He's been great for me. He got me back playing um, my best football. And at the end of the day, when you got a guy like that in the back of your head, the only thing you think is, I don't want to let myself down. I definitely don't want to let him down. Vontez Burfick knows the feeling. So troubled coming out of college, no team would draft him. So talented, he led the Bengals in tackles as a rookie anyway. Vontez came in here, and he was one of the guys that I was really hard on because of his reputation in the past. He had called me out and just was like, this isn't uh, Arizona State and we want discipline and stuff like that. This is like, you know, my first time with all the veterans. I was kind of like nervous. I'm like, why is he pointing me out like this? Wider, 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 Vontez, wider. I don't feel like I gained his trust yet. <laughs> I'm almost there. Um, I, I feel like it's going to take years. I mean, I'm only on my second year. What he's done since the time he's walked in here to now has been remarkable. I got his back. I love taking guys that people say can't play, say, hey, they're not good enough, or, you know, they play for the Bengals. Adam Jones, the Terrence Newmans of the world, the Perfects, we're all the same kind of guys. People say I can't do a lot of things. We're kind of all in the same boat. We're all, we all got chips on our shoulder. Just gonna give you a hug. Give me a hug? That's it. Marvelous. Marvelous, yes. Marvelous. Marvelous. Football is a test of another man's will against another man. That's all it is. Who gonna break first? Who willing to get dirty? Guys gotta learn how to hunt now. Dang, yeah, it's right there. Okay. Across the middle. Okay. Start locking it the other way. Okay. Okay. There you go. You know what I'm talking about. You gotta hunt, man. You gotta hunt. You gotta make people say, uncle. Uncle. Can't go out there with stuff in your teeth. You gotta floss before game. You know what I mean? You never know when they get your smile. Get the ball, 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 get the ball. <laughs> Holy are you got. Holy are you got. Alright, come on up, guys, come on up. Listen, everything we said all week long, start fast, play physical, get your eyes on your target, and get after their ass. Let's go, all right? Let's go right from the start, Woo! man. Fast get and it. physical now. This is our house. Let's set a tempo the way we need to be all season long. Chris Johnson in the flesh. Let's see how fast this on bitch is. Uh, Chris Johnson, let's see how fast. <laughs> there you go. Locker takes the snap, gives it to Johnson. Let's go, God damn it. Come on, come on. Nowhere to go for Chris Johnson. As Vontez perfect there. Johnson again, my son. The Bengals are there, stopping him right at the line of scrimmage. Perfect, the first one to get to the ball. Come on, don't be scared, Chris. Come on. Don't be scared. Come on, Vontez. Go get it. Go get it, Vontez. 
You better go down. You better go down. Vontes is just diving all over the place. Hey, Bruce, Bruce, am I running out there? Huh? Am I running out there? You sure I'm not looking? You sure? I look good, though? I don't know about y'all, but I'm probably the best looking guy out here. Best looking guy out on the field. Mo, what? Dwayne! Throws forward, pressure was coming inside. Stop the throw again, pressure coming again, it goes down. Got the ball, ball is loose. And the Titans have it. Come on, we gotta be able to protect, let's go. One way to protect the quarterback is to give the ball to someone else. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Enter Giovanni Bernard. Giovanni Bernard slicing through a hole on the right side of the line for a nine yard gain. Here's a throw to Bernard. Nice fingertip catch. Breaks away from the sideline tackle. Thunders down the left sideline. No, 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 no. Tell Orson to hit it, Andy. Tell Orson to hit it. Hey, it's 92 blast here. You're not close 92 blast. Don't worry. with me, Andy. Go on in there, Orson. The fullback is Orson Charles, and the tailback is Bernard. Lady! They give it to Bernard, and he leaps into the end zone for his second preseason touchdown. Orson Charles with a nice lead block. Power football. Way to lead the way, big ol'. That's new. Lay the wood? No, they hide it from him. Oh, they are? Yeah, they're sneaking inside. They're scared of you, man. Just seek and destroy, right? Mm -hmm. Fullback, seek and destroy. Yes, sir. Dalton back to throw. He fires. It is caught at the 20. And nice. Sanu uses a stiff arm to get away from two defenders. Andy Dalton is limping after that play, moving slowly. Mark. Uh, Andy might have rolled his ankle a little bit. Yeah, get him taped up, all right? Get him taped up and then let him see how he is and get Scout warmed up as well, okay? Get that taped up, see how you feel, okay? Your ankle, get it taped up. Andy Dalton getting his ankle taped. He got rolled up, he got stepped on, they just spatted him up. That means they put tape outside of the shoe, didn't bother taking the shoe off. Oh, how ugly does this look? Are you in or out? Uh, I think I'm still going. Uh, I think I'm still going. I think so. Dalton throws. Nice. It's Tate making the catch. Brandon Tate gets away from Pollard. Picks up the first down and more. Dalton takes the shotgun snap. Quick throw. Caught for a first down at the 22-yard line. Let's go, let's go. Dalton is going to throw a fade in the end zone for Sanud. throw from Andy. He lobbed it in there perfectly. That way, that's a great try. That way. Way to go. Good job, dude. Just how we wanted it. Just how we wanted it. Hey, Andy, that was the smartest drive I've ever seen drive. Well, thank you. One of many. Yeah, yeah, one of many to come, huh? That's right. What are you listening to in there? Little Pearl Jam. Oh, cool. Yeah. yeah. Nice. It's good. It's good, good you know? Yeah. Yeah. Take it back to the old school. I like it. Hey, perfect. You know, back in my high school days. You probably weren't born yet. <laughs> okay, let's put Skelton in a quarterback. Who is that? Skelton takes a shotgun snap, fakes a nice. handoff, and throws to a wide open Tyler Upper. And the rookie tight end is all the way down to the 30. Oh, baby. There you go. There you go, Tyler. Huh? There's your ball. First of all, congratulations. You're not a virgin anymore. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Hey, thanks. Welcome, man. Welcome. Thank you. And that will take us to triple zeros. All right, that's it, man. That's it. Anyway. Our halftime score, Cincinnati 17, Tennessee 3. Not a bad first half. Got 17 points on the board, but we got to keep the momentum going. Two, as we guys get in the game now, it's your show. Momentum does not slow down. We keep the pedal to the metal. You guys know what to do. Just go out and do it. Now's the time to frown and get your ass ready to go and kick their ass. Our new quarterback, Josh Johnson. Hey, let's eat. Hold up, hold up. Here we go. Corner's over again. Same defense, same everything. Oh, my God. This might be a touchdown. <laughs> Gives it to Heron this time. Reverses direction. Johnson's out in front of him. 20, 10, touchdown. Hey, what's up, baby? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Lord, hell yeah. I got me a ball. Josh Johnson leading the way. He could very easily just said go run, but then he got out there and ran. You're going to be able to do a little bit more shit than Andy would do. Yeah. You know what I mean? 
Do you have a feeling about a run? You know what I mean? <laughs> That's Obviously, what I we're going to coach you up the way we want and what we see, but you're the one with the ball. As long as you protect the rock, you That's make your decisions, you. I'll live with them. You know what I mean? That's a great job, man. All right. You never know when we're going to need you, right? Right. Fourth three quarter, man. Always got to be ready. <laughs> Oh wow! Oh wow! Hey, 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 Harrison, work, work on that now. Work. You see that? Work on that. <laughs> you can throw it a little bit. They got the big, that big light skin dude in, so let's make sure we hit him and wrap him up. For Taylor Mays, it's the same old story. One good play. <laughs> one not so good. Hey, Taylor! I need a breather. Got arm, choose him. You get your ass down where you're supposed to be. Yeah, but I was just, if, I, if he would have been playing, playing off of that, I didn't know. I got you. I understand. I got you. I understand. I got you. If you could have any superpower, what would you have? The invincible. Invincible? That's a good one. Superman is invincible. Had that little gem. Huh? Little, whatever that fucking gem is. <laughs> I watched the movie. Kryptonite? The gem turned red and then fucking like. Kryptonite. <laughs> Kryptonite make him weak. Invincible, like fucking no one can see you. Invincible. <laughs> Invisible. Hey, that's why I repeated it. That's what I said. You said, you said invisible. <laughs> he didn't catch it the first time I said it. You said invisible. I invisible. Like... <laughs> yeah, I need to talk to Demash, number 54. Hello? JD. Don't, hey, don't wait till I get your fucking shit hot. Let's go. Okay. All right. All right. Speaking of Jason Demash, an unnamed NFC scout said the following. We messed up and should have drafted him. Take him, JD. Take him, JD. Take him, JD. The problem for Jason DeMonch isn't catching ball carriers, it's catching his breath. <laughs> you all right? Looks like you're a little winded down there. What's going on? You all right? Come on, boy. Come on, dude. Give me that second win. Give me that second win, baby. Give me that second win. Give me that second win. Give me second Fitzpatrick under center. He takes the snap, drops back. He'll throw, and it's a touchdown for Tennessee. Let's go, J.D. Get it go, man. Come on, J.D. Suck it up. Come on, J.D. You got to go get that. Cream is rising. I'm just late. Huh? I'm just too late. Hey, let's go score again, huh? Yeah. Let's go score again. Set up. Terrible snap. Johnson loses it. Burkhead hustles backward to recover. Hello. I'll take that uh, snap. He didn't know I was in the gun. Yeah, he didn't say anything. Come on. Yeah. All right, we're going to Yeah, that's my bad, Coach. Slow it on down. Slow it on down. Okay. All right, let's go. Fuck's sake. Third and three from the seven yard line. They fake to Burkhead. Naked bootleg. Josh Johnson. <laughs> spin move and he's got the ball out there like a loaf of bread. Fuck! Josh! Fuck! I know, man. Clock, situation, everything. If you slide for no gain, who gives a shit? Yes. We're, kicking, we're kicking a field goal game's over, you know what I mean? I appreciate you trying to make a great play, but there ain't nothing there to make. You know? Fuck, man! But you know who's another good one? Iron Man's another good one. Because he lives in Malibu. He got that he got that big ass house. Yeah. But the, he likes Gwyneth Paltrow though. I don't like that. Yeah. Gwyneth, yeah. Gwyneth Paltrow got a good personality yeah. though. Yeah. 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 Iron Man gets all kinds but of But Iron Man has Gwyneth Paltrow. It's the fourth quarter, and Aaron Mabin has yet to take the field on defense. Get the guys that need to play to play. Well, who need who who hasn't played that you're worried about? You want Mabin in there at all? Hey, man, let's run down here and blow some shit up, man. You know what I mean? We don't know how many more cracks we're going to get at this thing. Time is running out for him to make this team. The ball game comes to an end. Two up, two down for the Cincinnati Bengals. Every win is a good thing, but in the preseason, they're especially fleeting. For not everyone in this locker room will be here tomorrow night. We're 
at the limit. We're at 90 players, and believe it or not, after we play Dallas, we got to go from 90 to 75, and just four days later, that quickly, we have to go all the way down to our 53 cut. So 37 guys. I would uh, suggest to you that there are some guys that are not playing, not practicing, not helping enough, if at all, right now. And we ought to be able to uh, let them go. Gord, is there any reason that we can't uh, do without him? No reason whatsoever. Stoudermeyer, I think he's ranking low on the list of your guys, isn't he, Mark? Yes, sir. So uh, we'll add him to the list. Mabin, you don't need him, do you? No, not unless we need him in, in the front. I know he's been doing some stuff with the nickel brushers, but I mean, the last two games he hasn't been able to get in there because we've been ahead in the game. We haven't been in base defense, so I got four Sams right now. Okay, well, uh, we'll send him on his way too. I think we ought to do the first three today if we can get a hold of them and get them in here. And so if you guys are available, if they want to stop by and just say goodbye to you guys. Okay, here we go for another week. Thanks. As soon as it becomes apparent that the guy is not going to factor in our plans, we we think it's right by the kid to, to let him know that. It gives the kid an opportunity maybe to catch on somewhere else. Art, football, it doesn't matter. Everybody's a critic. Hello. Hello, Aaron. Yeah. Uh, Greg Seaman with the Bengals. Uh, just talked with uh, Marvin. I need you to come down and to, to visit with Marvin. If you would, bring your iPad and, and if there's a playbook. get an opportunity here to give you an opportunity to go somewhere else. Understandable. You know, I think that's the, the thing. If you're going to be a backup back or a backup in, that's where you're going to have to, you know, make it mm -hmm. and prove that, you know, you're, you're worthy. I mean, I understand. I've been in the game long enough to know, you know, how it goes. So I appreciate you guys, you know, thinking enough of me to, you know, at least give me an opportunity to catch on someplace else. So I just, you know, if I can do anything, let mm -hmm. me know. And I appreciate the opportunity, Coach. Right, yeah. Definitely. Okay. Definitely. Okay. Yeah, first class with everything. So appreciate you guys. Come with me, I'll get you squared away with what we need to do next. A hundred people could look at a painting and give you a hundred different explanations of what this means and what that means. This is probably a point in my career where it's the most question marks. The fact of the matter is, I still love this game. I give everything I've got, and, and what I've got is what I've got, so, you know, I can be happy with that. All you can really do is stay ready and stay hungry, and that's something that I've always been. As long as there's an opportunity for me, I'm definitely keep on chasing it. On the next Hard Knocks, veteran leaders get extended playing time when the team travels to Big D. We are always the people that everyone's going to look to. Come on, let's go. Opportunities will be limited for those fighting to stay on the roster. You ain't going to make the team if you don't know what you got to do. I don't think anybody's spot is safe. All of a sudden, that final cut comes and nobody knocks on your door. I think that's when it's safe. Each Tuesday through September 3rd, tune in for Hard Knocks, training camp with the Cincinnati Bengals. Watch the best of Hard Knocks and more exclusive video on HBO.com. And like us on Facebook to vote on what you think is the deepest position on the Bengals roster. Next Monday, tune in for Glickman, a documentary about Marty Glickman, the first athlete turned announcer a pioneer who overcame prejudice to become an influential and revered broadcaster. September 28th, World Championship Boxing returns with Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. taking on Brian Vera in Carson, California. That same night from the Bell Center in Montreal, Adonis Stevenson defends his 175-pound title for the first time against former belt holder Tavoris Cloud.
This has been a presentation of HBO Sports.